Today on Southern Accent Foods, I'll show you how to make this romantic pasta dinner for two. I've got this quick and easy shrimp linguine with roasted tomatoes and a two ingredient mousse for dessert. Plus, I've got a make ahead snack for an appetizer. Let's get started. We'll start with this two ingredient dessert. You should make this a day ahead. Start with one half cup of white chocolate chips in a small saucepan. Pour in one quarter cup of heavy cream. Set over medium low heat. Working on and off the heat, stir gently until the chips are melted. Set aside while you make the whipped cream. One half cup of heavy cream in a medium bowl. Use a hand mixer and beat until stiff peaks form. Transfer the melted white chocolate to a large bowl. Carefully fold in a bit of the whipped cream with a large spatula. Continue folding until you've incorporated all of the whipped cream. Transfer the mixture into two serving glasses of your choosing, cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate overnight. We'll garnish at the last minute. Next, we'll make these easy Parmesan crisps. Once again, you can make these the day before. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 205 degrees Celsius. Grate up a couple of ounces of Parmesan cheese. There's really no recipe. Just make as many crisps as you like. Line a sheet pan with parchment paper. Use a pastry cutter like this and sprinkle in just enough cheese to make a small wafer. Again, make as many as you want. Get them into the center of your preheated oven and bake for five to six minutes or just until starting to crisp up. Watch them carefully. Get them out, let them cool, and store in an airtight container overnight. The day of dinner, start with a glass of bubbly. The only serious choice here is Prosecco. I think it's more food friendly than champagne and it won't break the bank either. Now we can work on our main event. Start with about one half pound of shrimp. Grab the legs and do a sort of unwrapping motion to remove the peel. When you get to that last segment, just kind of do a pinch move to remove the tail. Use a paring knife, go along the backside and remove the vein. Get those shells into a small saucepan and cover with water. We're making a light bouillon for the sauce, which is a French culinary term, bouillon. In English, it means bouillon. Bring to a simmer, then remove from the heat and let rest and infuse while we prep the tomatoes. Get a handful of small cherry or grape tomatoes into a bowl and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 190 degrees Celsius. Drizzle in just a little bit of olive oil to coat. Freshly ground black pepper, but no salt yet. Mix them all together. Spread them out onto a parchment lined sheet pan and get them into the center of your preheated oven until they're shriveled and about to burst about 15 to 20 minutes. Hit them with some salt immediately when they come out of the oven. For the pasta, get two portions of linguine or any long strandy pasta you like into boiling salted water and cook according to the package directions. While the pasta cooks, melt two tablespoons of butter in a saute pan over medium heat. Add in your shrimp, season with salt and pepper, and optionally your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning. Cook for about one and a half minutes per side or just until pink. Add in your roasted tomatoes and stir to reheat. Pour in two or three tablespoons of the shrimp bouillon to deglaze any bits on the bottom of the pan. You can freeze the rest to make gumbo or something. Add in your cooked pasta and a good drizzle of nice olive oil. Stir everything together. This is a very light sauce and definitely no cheese with seafood. Plate it up and garnish with some chopped parsley. When it's time for dessert, top your mousse with some fresh berries and some mint. Enjoy your pasta dinner for two. 
I like a nice romantic pasta dinner for two. I think about the times with my ex-wife. There were no romantic pasta dinners for two. If you could have taken a mold of my ex-wife's face and poured batter into it, you could have made a bulldog cake. I think that managing romantic relationships is give and take. It's not always 50-50. Sometimes you got to step up and pull a little more weight for your partner. Sometimes your partner is going to have to do that for you. And I definitely learned pick your battles early on as well. I think that part of a relationship is psychological. And looking back at my ex-wife, the reason she is my ex-wife is because of the psychological part. I was logical. She was psycho. I have another great dinner for two idea right here. Click on that video and I'll see you there.